NATO defense ministers meeting in Brussels accused Russia of driving an indiscriminate campaign of cyber attacks around the world, including against the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons in the Netherlands, an allegation that has just emerged. In response, NATO will continue to strengthen its defense and deterrence in the cyber domain. We are making significant progress, setting up a new cyber operations center. Moscow has dismissed the claims. NATO ministers also accuse Russia of developing a missile system called 9M729, which they say violates an international weapons treaty. The two-day NATO meeting was dominated by anti-Russia rhetoric. The West's attitude to the Russian Federation will achieve nothing, experts claim. The Soviet Union formally collapsed 25 years ago. We have no desire to get back to that Cold War. We have to look at Russia in a pragmatic way and in a respectful way. At the NATO meeting, Jens Stoltenberg and U.S. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis accused Iran of destabilizing the Middle East. Many security experts say it is the West, particularly the U.S. and Britain, that has wreaked havoc in North Africa and the Middle East. Separately, defence ministers talked about Donald Trump's demands for more military spending by NATO members. Anti-war campaigners say allocating billions more for weapons is unjustifiable when so many citizens are in poverty. It has also been confirmed that NATO will begin military exercises, or war games, in Norway at the end of this month. The exercises will involve more than 45,000 military personnel from 31 countries, 150 aircraft, 60 warships and more than 10,000 land vehicles. But commentators say the display already lacks credibility because Donald Trump, whose country will be leading the exercises, has made it abundantly clear he thinks war games are a big waste of money. Jerome Hughes, Press TV, at NATO headquarters, Brussels.